Hi guys, um, so this video is pretty important. We're going to start working in class on how to add integers and it's kind of something that um, takes kids time. It, it took me a long time to understand this too. It's not necessarily something you can learn one day and then and then have it down. Like it takes some practice. So please continue watching videos on this if you're kind of struggling with how to add integers because I think it really does help. Um, we're going to start out a problem here. We're going to write example one. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So first off, when I say the word integers, uh, what I really mean is numbers that are positive or negative. So we are talking about dealing with positive and negative numbers. And we want to be able to add them together. That's very important to be able to do. So um, we're going to try adding some integers here for a moment. We're going to do 3 plus negative 2. 3 plus negative 2. And to add 3 plus negative 2, I like to see it um, as a visual first. So let's practice just seeing what it looks like. Because for some of us, it's hard to even picture what that means. 3 plus negative 2 means we have three positives. We have 1, 2, 3. But it also means we're adding two negatives. 1, 2. And something we know about positive and negative numbers is that if you have one of each and you bring them together, they make zero. So that really is the same as zero, and so is this. So if you look really closely, oops, I don't need that. If you look really closely, uh, you'll notice that the only thing remaining is that one positive. So my answer is a positive one. Now most of the time we don't really write plus 1 when we write a positive number. So I'm going to rewrite this problem. 3 plus negative 2 is just equal to a 1. 1 is going to be my answer. Now I like the visual way of doing it. I think it's really helpful to be able to see it and think about those zero pairs. So we're going to try another problem here. Uh, we'll do an example 2. This time we're going to try uh, negative 5 plus negative 2. Negative 5 plus negative 2, what does it equal? Okay, well now we have 5 negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negatives. We'll circle them. And we are going to add them to 2 negatives. 1, 2. So if you look, I don't see any zero pairs. There's no positive and negative numbers. They're all negative. So 5 negatives and 2 negatives, looks like there's 7 negatives all together. My answer is negative 7. Okay, well, let's try another one. We'll do an example three. For this one, how about we say we have negative four plus two. Negative four plus two. That means we have four negatives. One, two, three, four. And we have two positives. One, two. So negative 4 plus 2 is going to look like this. This is our visual. This is how we can see it. It's kind of our picture. And I'm noticing right away some zero pairs. I'm like, oh, well, that makes zero. And that makes zero. So actually, the only thing left is these two negatives. So my answer is negative 2. All right, so now I'm going to have you try. I'm going to give you a problem. And we'll do it down below here. We'll write you try. And what I'd like you to do is try to draw a picture to represent each of these problems. I'm going to give you two of them to try on your own. The first one I want you to try is I want you to try negative 5 plus 1. And the other one I want you to try is 4 plus negative 6. Go ahead, pause the video, and try drawing the pictures of what this would look like. Show us. Show me the visual. Okay, so you're unpausing the video, I hope, and you're checking your answers now. We're going to do the first one here, negative 5 plus 1. That means we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negatives. And we have plus 1, plus 1 positive. So as far as like the zero pairs go, I only see this as my zero pair. I still see 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives remaining. So my answer must equal negative 4. That's my first answer. Let's look at my second problem. 
4 plus negative 6, well, 4 is positive. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 positives. But a plus a negative 6 means I have 6 negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I'm seeing lots of zero pairs this time. What I'm seeing is here's a zero pair, here's a zero pair, here's a zero pair, here's a zero pair. So the only thing remaining is way down here at the bottom, we have two negatives. So I'm going to write, oh, okay, equals negative two. Now eventually, drawing this out doesn't really work because the numbers are going to get bigger. If I told you I didn't have a negative five, I had a negative 25, you're going to be less excited to draw 25 negatives. You're not going to want to do that. But it's really good if you can see it with the small numbers first because then your mind's going to remember how this kind of works. We're just looking for zero pairs and we're trying to figure out what's that solution. So there's definitely going to be more videos on this, but I hope it kind of gives you a good start just to see those, those visuals. All right, thanks, guys. Look for more videos.